What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the Buttons widget from Elementor Website Builder WordPress plugin for free. Okay, but before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much that helps us. Because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in order to use internet on our site's favor. So let's get this started. And before anything, make sure that you have your Elementor WordPress plugin installed. It can be the free one, no need to get the Pro, no need to worry, okay? Just have this plugin installed and go to one of your pages that you would like to edit or, for example, create a new page. I'm gonna edit one of my previously made pages, this one, okay? And I'm gonna work with this button right here, okay? So I'm gonna hold and see the top menu of my site Click on edit with Elementor so I can load up the editor here is the page imagine that I would like to enter a button right here let me exclude this one and very first thing to do is reveal the left sidebar of widgets that we have on our Elementor basic version okay and right here you can see already the button one i'm gonna click on it hold the button on my mouse drag this and drop wherever i want the button i'm gonna drop it right here okay but of course i can drop it wherever i want so here is my button very first thing to do it's of course align the button okay so you can see the alignment options right here i can center align for example what else we can apply a link to this button let me link this to growth.net for example so link added if i click into this link options icon right here this gear icon i can click to make it open into a new tab and apply a new follow link style and of course you can apply some custom attributes okay for example some custom links for tracking codes okay after this what else we can do we can change the button text in the case that i want from click here to review for example the button type we have info success warning and danger let's keep it on the full okay the button size okay we can move to large in the case that you want as for large medium the icon okay we can apply some icon we can upload an svg or open the icon library and apply some icon to our button for example this one right here and you can make the icon bigger sorry we can enter the icon spacing between icon and button okay To make it bigger, we're gonna move to other sections. So the presets of our button is already built. Now let's go to the style option, okay? So into the upper right corner, the upper left corner of our screen, next to content, we have style. And from here, we can change the typography. Changing the fonts. Change the size. We can transform the text to uppercase, downcase, okay? So no need to type the bottom text using caps lock in the case that you do not want. We can move the style. We can apply some decorations. We can change the line height, the line spacing and the word spacing in the case that you need it. Now we're gonna be able to change the button colors 
and the button colors on hover. So if we hover our mouse over the button, we can change the color as well. The background type, we can change the color as well. We can apply some animation if needed. Can you see? After hover, it loads an animation. Now we can apply some border if you want to. You can change the widget and the height of the border, applying some spaces and creating the button exactly as you would like, okay? We follow your colors, your brand style, your custom style, and make it work for you creating your amazing CTA, for example. What else you can do? Into the advanced tab, you can move the layout using paddings and margins. We can change the widget, if possible, to other kinds of layouts, okay? We can apply some CSS classes in the case that you need. But the most important parts are into the content and style, where you're going to type the button text, we're going to give some type to the button, we're going to use the apply the link, change the position of the button. Just a note, if you use justify it, the button going to occupy all the possible size of the screen, as you can see, the entire column from white to white, okay? We can move the icon position from before to after, if you want to. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Brawler's WordPress plugin in order to gain more widgets for our Elementor plugin. And it's completely free and gonna give you pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. Just like this demonstrative website right here, it's a free pre-built website that you can import with a single click. Moreover, in the case that you are in need of the best free WordPress team, go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, Add new, search for Enzo WordPress team, click on install and activate it. You're gonna be amazed about how many features this team offers for free. And also gonna give you more pre-built type size that you can import with a single click. In addition, if you run a blog, would like to receive guest posts, to publish guest posts in other sites, to connect with the blogger community, just go to growth with 3 wsnet submit your site, it's completely free, and be listed right here just like all of those bloggers that are listing their websites, okay? Moreover, and as a final Nazi, in the case that you are in need of your site up and running faster, go to visionmoto.com, purchase the Vision Moto Pass to unlock access to our full template library of pre-built type sites that you can import with a single click, premium blocks, icons, templates, and our full support. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this one, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!